Hey guys, I wanted to show you what I've been working on lately. Um, in addition to all of the foam cutting and still development on the EPP wings, I wanted to get into doing some work with fiberglass and composite materials. So one of the things I've been working on, um, these are just test sections of wing skins. Um, this one is a fiberglass wing skin that has this uh, core material in it and that's it's just material here I think you can see it um, it's got kind of this hexagon shape um, there's a different one this is the stuff I actually like a little bit better this is two millimeter um, and it can be used as an infusion medium for uh, for resin infusion but it can also be used as just a core material so as a core material uh, what this does is it allows me to create a uh, kind of a, uh, a layered material with fiberglass on both sides, which gives fiberglass a lot of rigidity. So you can see here, this has got the three millimeter, um, and this is this is ridiculously strong. The problem here is that uh, it's just too heavy. There's way too much resin here. Um, this is a different one I tried. This one's 56 grams. This is 111 grams. Um, this is a different, this is a polyurethane foam. This is a three millimeter polyurethane foam, so it's much lighter. Um, and we're using a lighter glass. This is a three ounce glass on the front and a three ounce glass on the back. Um, this is pretty good, but I... Jury's still out on this one. We're going to do some more testing. So some of the others, uh, this is that two millimeter cloth, uh, two millimeter core. And what I did was I made up two pieces of it and then I went ahead and I, I cut these. Um, these are out of, uh, I think they're about four and a half millimeters, a quarter inch cheap plywood. Uh, cut these on the uh, CNC router, but basically they're just a symmetrical airfoil and these are the ribs and what I ended up doing here If you can see down there is that I I uh, put in three ribs and Two shear webs and the shear webs are just that same material. They're just that uh, four millimeter cheap uh, Luan plywood uh, and they're glued in here. So you see the shear web here and one here and then three ribs if you look at this one now these are this one is just fiberglass by itself 34 grams and 57 grams are a couple of different uh, layups this total piece here is 150 grams and you can see the the three ribs and then you can see the the two shear webs and what that does is that gives us this, um, basically a torsion box. And it is really rigid in torsion uh, and, in, and in bending. Um, but the fiberglass itself, because it's so thin, this makes up about half a millimeter. Um, the fiberglass itself isn't very rigid and you can see that it, it flexes in between these ribs pretty well. Uh, this side not as much because it's a little bit heavier glass, but you can see here that it's flexing quite a bit. Um, still has a lot of strength as a skin. We're going to do a little testing and uh, we'll see how much strength. But just to compare that, if you take a look at this one, okay, this one is 178 grams, so 150 grams, 178 grams. This side's just painted but it's the same material as this. So this is that thin, very thin two millimeter core material, which you can see coming through the glass. 
uh, and that gives this, it, it creates this um, two and a half millimeter sandwich. So you've got the glass, you've got glass on both sides. You've got a glass on the top and glass on the bottom with this core in between. Uh, and that, um, that makes a very rigid sandwich panel. So this is kind of like, uh, kind of like honeycomb construction that they would use in, in the aerospace industry. Um, this really even more rigid than the other. Um, there's no flex in between the panels here. I mean, you can't, you can't crush that in between the, the shear webs uh, or the ribs. So it's very, very strong, very rigid and not, not all that much more, uh, more weight. Like I said, this is, uh, 178 versus 150. So, um, but we're going to set them up on, uh, on a test stand here, put some weight on them and, uh, see how, how strong they are with just this, these little pieces of, um, plywood here. And this is pretty cheap stuff. You can see it's not even a three ply. It's just a cheap Luon plywood. Um, but it's got the strength in the right parts. So very strong here, right? Not going to crush. And that's what we're looking for in one of these. Here, the side strength, we really don't care about because we're not going to be uh, sending any forces acting uh, on that axis. Really, our force is going to be acting through. And the bending stress in the wing, if you've seen my earlier video, uh, much earlier on bending stress in a wing, you know, the most of the stress that's going to be on this is in compression, and, and this is very strong in compression. So uh, let's see how they stack up. <clears throat> okay, so our test setup is uh, pretty simple here. I've got these two cans and what I'm going to do is I'm going to support the wing on either edge and then load some weight in the middle. And now I know that this is not the true bending mode that I would see in a real aircraft, but it's the best I can do right now for these quick tests. I really didn't make these up so that I could affix them on one end and put all the stress on the other. And I'm sure I will catch some crap in the comments for it, but this is going to be the best I can do. And what I've got here on the ends are just some foam uh, cut to a rough profile. And this is just to keep the, uh, the wing from being crushed on these cans and kind of distribute the weight a little bit. So here, let's go. Um, we're going to start with these two blocks and these are five pounds a piece. So there's 10 pounds placed right in the middle. That's, looks like it's holding up. We get a little flex, but that's not bad. And let's see. These are five pounds a piece. So there's another, there's 15 pounds. There's 20 pounds. And let's see. Together here's another five. So that's what, 25 pounds. And let's see, these are two. So it's 25, 27, 29. You got 29 pounds here in the middle. And, and we're starting to get a little flexing. So this is another uh, another pound and a half. I'm sorry, two and a half pounds. Come on, if I can balance all of this. This is the hard part. All right, so that's what? Uh, 31 and a half pounds. And I'd say that's holding. We're getting some, some puckering along the front, but that's just... Well, you knew that was going to happen, right?
Well, we knew something like that was going to happen. So this looks like it's still in pretty good shape. There didn't seem to be any failure. We still got gobs of uh, torsional rigidity. We saw that pucker in the front, and that's really just because the the fronts of the skins aren't glued together. They're a little bit short. Uh, had they been glued together, this torsionally would be a lot more rigid, and I don't think you would have seen that buckle in the front. So, with that out of the way, with 31 pounds, I guess I'm going to have to find uh, some more weight around here if we're going to test these to failure. But let's go ahead and test this one. It's a little heavier weight, a little more rigid. I suspect it's going to do better. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to, I'm going to stack these more central like that. So when we get a little, a little, uh, little smaller area on the bottom, so we get a little higher pressure. Let's get these on. Yeah, see that rocking on there? We know that's, that's not good, right? Okay, so there is 20, 5, stay, these up here, rocking, it's making me a little nervous, just because I'm afraid it's going to fall off again. Okay, so there's our 31 pounds again. We're we're seeing a lot less flex, I think. You know, we're not seeing that pucker and part of that again. This is open, but this these skins are a lot more rigid, so you're not going to see them flex and pucker on their own. So I I think that uh, either one of these wings would be a viable solution. Um, that's quite a lot of weight. Honestly, I I like this. Even though it's a little more weight, I like the solution a little bit better because it's much more rigid. The panels are more rigid, so you're not going to feel any flex in them. And these are just cheaply made, quickly made panels. Uh, I made a ton of these for doing testing. Um, some failed, you know, before I even got them out of the mold. They were too light. I couldn't get them out. So I've been doing a lot of testing, just trying to come up with the right recipe. And uh, I think I'm onto something with these. I like these. Um, especially this one here. This this panel is 55 grams by itself. So that's a three ounce glass on the front and the back, and then the two millimeter core, um, which I think just adds to the rigidity, uh, overall rigidity, uh, and I don't know once it's all glued up how much it adds to the overall strength. It's really not adding that much in weight, so this is probably the direction I'm going to go on the wings anyways. And once I get a little further along, um, I'll show you what I've learned over this uh, COVID period about uh, mold making and uh, glass layup and vacuum bagging and all of that. So I'll be doing some videos on that, uh, share with you guys what I've learned. But I thought this might be a fun little test. I mean, that's some substantial weight there and we're getting almost very little flex. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. All right, guys, catch you on the next one.